Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today to um, give you guys an update on our glass vase experiment. Uh, last week, as we all know, it was pretty disappointing and upsetting to find that um, a good number of our worms had been lost due to what I'm thinking now um, was definitely an anaerobic environment. So the lack of oxygen created an acidic environment that had no air, and so it suffocated the worms out. Um, you know, as much as it's disappointing, I think it was a great learning experience for us, and um, I do intend to try another experiment with a clear system so that, you know, kids can get involved, but that shallow and, and narrow vase was just not allowing for any air to get to the bottom, and that was our downfall. So. Maybe I'll buy um, a clear tote, something like that, that we can raise them in and, and feed along the outside so that we can watch the worms that way and see how that goes. But um, I definitely think being able to turn up the system um, and check on the worms, making sure that there's enough air in the bottom will be crucial to our success with that. So I um, am going to hop over now. We're going to take a look into our three-gallon tote that I have the worms in right now and we will see if we were able to salvage any and uh, we can take it from there. So let me hop over there and um, we will take a and look. I did flip this around before I turned the camera on because I promised you guys not to bring any more carnage but there are some signs of life. If I can find any. I swear I'm not telling tales. There's not many, but um, the smell is gone. Look, he even looks like he's ready to lay a cocoon. Um, the smell is gone. There are a handful of worms and they are alive. So I am thrilled to hear that. Um, but I'm not gonna feed uh, this bin at all right now. It still feels rather moist. I wanna make sure um, it self-regulates and that we don't have the same problem that we had before. Um, it was definitely an anaerobic problem, just meaning that the vase was so deep that as the moisture was going down to the bottom, no oxygen was getting down there with it. So the bin uh, wasn't breathing, so our worms essentially were suffocating and um, probably got acidic as well, which can kill your worms. So. The good news is, it's one of our little beetles, um, the good news is we have signs of life. I think um, we might be able to just save this bin. So I will come back um, next week. We'll see how they're doing and, and um, maybe consider moving them on to another experiment or continuing them in this bin um, until it finishes up and then they can move on to another system for me. But I wanted to bring you guys this good news. I was really, really pleased to see that they um, didn't all die. And it seems like they're actually um, doing pretty well. So anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day. Drop your comments below. Like this video and subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys next week for an update.